This is a quick demonstration of the modification I've done to my MyFly Dream on antenna tracker. The problem I have had with this tracker and the previous tracker is that as it's tracking around in the sky, as it tilts backwards and forwards, the distance between here and here on the cable becomes greater or narrower. And as it does, for some reason, it puts a tiny little bit of pressure on there and it breaks the video contact pin. What happens is you're uh, flying along <clears throat> and your picture just goes black all of a sudden. It can be for just a second, it can be until you grab hold of it and you twiddle everything around and you'll get it back. And then five seconds later it might go again or it might be fine for the rest of the flight. Either way, highly annoying. The rest of the tracker is absolutely brilliant, but now this is two trackers it's done it to. I've replaced several leads for different types of leads. I've gone for thicker, thinner, softer, stiffer, every quality you can think of and the problem still persists. So I finally had enough, so I've done this modification. The modification is fitting this socket here. It's a 3.5mm 4-pole jack. The whole idea of this is this, this plug is supposed to be able to twist. No problem, so that gets rid of those stresses. Where the RCA plug in and then not move, it's not designed to rotate around in the slightest, so any stresses will be directed to the edge there or to the socket itself. So, uh, first time round, we wire it up traditionally, RCA to RCA, power barrel to the power barrel. The barrels, the DC barrels, never had a problem with, that never lets you down. I'll turn the tracker on, turn the monitor on, and I will turn on my 450 cord to give us a picture up. <clears throat> there we go. Now the camera's probably not going to pick up a brilliant picture. Ah, it's, it's not bad, you can see a picture there anyway. But yeah, as the tracker's tracking it around in the sky, but you can see it breaking up there and there again. And that's without it really moving. But if you touch around it, there you go. Picture's gone, picture's back, picture's gone, picture's back. And that's just, you, well you can see it's, as, as it moves backwards and forwards, the tiniest little pressure on it, and it's gone back, gone back. That's useless. <coughs> Absolutely rubbish. No good. So, this DC, I don't know why I keep calling DC jack, with the uh, headphone jack, the RCA jack plug. I'll plug that in. I'll put the audio in just for neatness, just to keep it all nice and neat. Right, we've got a picture. Now, when we move the cable about, there is no problem. We can put many, many, many twists on it and it doesn't break the picture up once. Twist it the other way. No breaking the picture. There we go. That is a much better way of doing that instead of using RTAs. So it's a mod that I would highly recommend uh, people doing if they're in uh, experiencing the same problem. Cheers. Ta-da.